the bus looks like it's stopping here and indeed it is and yes okay so we do have the stop sign coming out we'll try to circle around because this is the real challenge i want to see what it does with the stopping guard hey everybody welcome back to another full self-driving video school is out we're going to test full self-driving and see if it can handle school buses and students and crossing guards it is super cold outside right now. I just had to step on the accelerator a little bit to get the car going here. We're gonna go right through a school zone. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. Hopefully we get some variety with some school buses, although it's always hit or miss whether or not you come up against a school bus, especially one where the, the stop arm comes out. So not sure we'll get one of those today, but let's find out here is a bus and it says stop going that way and my car for some reason is not going which is interesting it should go hesitating and i don't know if it it's because it saw that stop sign but that was actually pretty smart it waited for the bus i don't think it saw a stop sign i was looking at the screen pretty closely and I didn't see any stop sign show up. Now this is interesting. Let's see if it tries to go around the bus. The bus looks like it's stopping here and indeed it is. And yes, okay, so we do have the stop sign coming out and you can see it displayed really nicely next to the school bus on the visualizations. So that's neat and you can see all the students coming out and the car is not attempting to go around which is a very good thing i wouldn't expect that it would on a single lane road like this typically it will not unless the vehicle tries to move over one of the videos that i created fairly recently i documented that if you are in a robo taxi and your car gets stuck behind a tractor for example on a rural country road you are going to be very, very disappointed, frustrated, and quite frankly, you're gonna to wanna to get out of the car. And that video didn't get as many views as I thought it would. It was very interesting uh, as far as the results, and I summarized everything straight away in the beginning to save everybody a bunch of time. I'm gonna throw that link up above. You can click on that to see. It's basically what happens on a rural road when you get stuck behind a slow moving vehicle. What does full self-driving do? So up here, I think school gets out at three o'clock. I've driven through here multiple times at three o'clock and it's always very busy. Probably since it's 3.05, I'm already too late. I mean, this is around the sweet spot. Maybe the sweet spot's 250, I'm not quite sure. So far it's performing great. Now we do have a lot of cars in front of us, so they are going to be kind of guiding my car or preventing my car from speeding. But obviously when you're in a school zone and there are children present, the speed limit applies. And right now the current state of full self-driving does not support school zones and the signs. Let's see what happens up here. It is awfully cold. I have a feeling that a lot of kids are being picked up by their parents as opposed to walking. Now, if we get lucky, we'll be front in line here with the crossing guard. Let's see what happens. A lot of students crossing here. Parents coming to walk with them. A lot of activity. Okay, so we are second in line close, but not quite where we get to see this crossing guard right up front. We'll try to circle around because this is the real challenge. I want to see what it does with the stopping guard. I've tested this before, but it was just by random chance that I ended up right next to the crossing guard. So 
self-driving went around that vehicle really smoothly there. Great, let's see what happens coming up here. A couple go-arounds here. It says speed limit 20 miles an hour, and we're going 21. Really nice. A lot of school buses right now. And there's that crossing guard. We just missed her. So I think the majority of the students have already crossed the road, so we might have missed our opportunity. Just missed the crossing guard here. <laughs> We're gonna, it's gonna take a couple tries here to get it just right. So I'm driving manually because uh, it's very predictable what would have happened there. It would have just waited behind that vehicle. So let's try this again. Gonna, it's gonna take multiple attempts to get the timing just right. Okay, going forward here, a little bit of a rocky start. It, it seems like it didn't see that car until it went out and now going for it. Look at that, really nice. Let's see here if the traffic guard comes out. Oh, rats, no students that time. <laughs> I feel like we're like targeting kids, like we're trying to run over kids or something. This just doesn't feel right, like doing this test. But I, I'm very curious to see the stop sign get displayed. Let's try it again. Let's back up here and go out here again. A lot of cars, but no students this time. And going straight, straight through here. Okay, going left now. If we don't encounter this crossing guard, we're gonna call it a day here. It was going to go and then decided to wait. And now would be a good time, but now there's a car coming on the right. Two cars, and let's see if it guns it for this. Okay, nope, another... Actually, it's a, a new Tesla. It's a Highland. Yeah, I think that crossing guard called it a day here. I don't see that lady out here anymore. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Trying to see if we could trick it or see what, what would happen. We did get a school bus. Let's see, there's one school bus in front of us. I guess if we follow them long enough, we, we'll get into a situation now. We don't have two lanes, so there's no opportunity for the car to really try to go around the school bus should it stop on this road. And most of the roads around here are single lane. And in that situation, unless the vehicle moves over to the side of the road, which could happen with a school bus, you generally speaking, you won't have the car try to go around it. Oh, come on. I almost had to step on the accelerator there because it hesitated a little bit too much. Made me a little bit uncomfortable. The person behind me was like, what's he waiting for? That was my turn to go. I'm just gonna report that I still have the report, the, the snapshot, uh, autopilot snapshot recorded icon up at the top. That's uh, only in the early access vehicles. So as soon as I get an update, besides 12.542, I will be filming immediately, as you know, as I do all the time. Now, okay, this is, okay, so the school bus is, it has its right turn signal on. So it's evidently turning right here. We need to go left. There's enough space to kind of go over there. Let's see what happens. It's thinking about it. Nice. Really well done there.
So it performed well throughout the school zone. Now we did have leading cars in front of us to kind of help us slow down. It did really great in front of school buses. We've got a couple more school buses coming up here. If they stop, we might get lucky. We're gonna find out here. That was the school bus's turn. Now that was definitely my turn. This car went before me and that was not the right move. And sure enough, we get the bus stop stopping here. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna take over and call it a day. This was interesting, but not interesting enough for me at least. These situations are, are tough to capture, you know, edge cases. It's becoming harder and harder to capture edge cases and situations where full self-driving fails. It, it still is quirky in, in a couple areas, but that's just fine tuning and getting it you know, polished enough. So it's very practical. I love using this software. I use it on a daily basis and I really don't have any issues except for green lights when it slows down. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.